What's going on you guys? It's your boy Caesar here and this is my three and a half year minoxidil journey. I have been almost using it for three and a half years so we're gonna get into everything. I'm gonna show you guys my update because a lot of people want to see the update. A couple frequently asked questions, what I'm doing, how it's looking and all that good stuff so let's just get into it. I have been off of minoxidil five different times. The first two times it was because like I wanted to see if I get to keep the gains or not and you guys when you come off of minoxidil like you slowly start losing the gains and a lot of people are gonna say well if you have the terminal hair you know you should be good to go but you guys I made sure I had the terminal hair it was in there it was thick black hair and you still for whatever reason you start slowly losing it not exactly how it was like before I started minoxidil because before it was crazy patchy and now like at least on my left side my left side still looks pretty full but my right side is a little patchy I'll show you guys in a second exactly what it looks like but uh, yeah if I had it like my left side on both sides I probably would stop minoxidil but like I said it does when you come off of it it slowly starts to to fade out a little bit a little bit of the gains okay nothing crazy but it does fade out so the other two times I had like a crazy red patch and for whatever reason it was on my right side crazy red dry skin right here it was so irritated that I like I stopped I didn't want to get back off of back on it because uh, it was that like that red and then the fifth time I stopped it was because I had acne you guys and I'm, I'm almost pushing 40 years old you guys so like to have acne when you're 40 is a straight up no-go I know you don't want to have it like at whatever age but 40 years old is not the time to be having acne and uh, I'll show you guys a picture if I could find it but like I had acne all in this right side for whatever reasons just this right side is like my problem area and the left side was good to go but you know I had to stop using it so the first two times, like I said, it's not because I was having a problem. I just wanted to see if I get to keep the gains or not. And I did notice that one thing that I switched over that I wasn't doing in the very beginning that I started doing when I had all the rashes and all that stuff is because I switched from the Rogaine. This is the actual Rogaine brand. It was 5% minoxidil. And I switched over to the Kirkland brand. So I don't know if that's the reason why. If you guys had made that switch and you started getting rashes, please let me know in the comment box below. That way, you know, we could help each other out and all that good stuff. But that's the only difference that I noticed that uh, that I used. It was the minoxidil, right? So I'm going to switch back over to regular Rogaine and see if that's a problem or not but hopefully that does solve my acne issue or any of that red dry skin issue that I had. Alright you guys without any further ado I did want to show you guys like the gains and the losses that I've had. I'll probably do a flashback to day zero. So here it is you guys this is what it looked like on day zero. And I'm gonna also show you guys a picture of what it was like like way before I even started minoxidil. This is like the most I grew out my beard. It's very patchy, you guys. It does not look good at all. And I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like today. All right, so we're gonna go with the good side first, you guys. So my good side, this is my left side right here. Hopefully it's nice and focused, but it's mostly full. I never had a problem with my goatee area. It's mainly like this side and under. But like you guys could see like right here in this area is still my problem area. It, it's like that on the other side too. But like I say if my other side was just like this, I would be good to go. I'm telling you guys, I would just like leave it alone. I'm going to show you guys a product that I actually use to make it look fuller without actually using minoxidil. But you guys, you guys could see it like for the most part, it's good. Yeah, there's a little bit thinning here on the top side right here. But for the most part, this side, my left side is good to go. Now let me show you guys the right side. This is the, my problem side. I don't have a mirror on this side, hold on. Okay, so you guys could see that I still have that patch going on here as same thing that I have on this side for whatever reason. It likes, to, it likes to stay there, but this side is a lot thinner on the top than the left side is. Left side, decent, decent right. You guys look at this side, it's, it's very thinning out right here. Big time thinning out and then all the way down here let me show you guys i could just move a little bit of hair and there's a big patch like right here this whole thing is basically a patch right here it's just some hair that's growing in there that's still trying to grow out but for the most part you guys like my right side is it's not where i want it to be and that's why i'm going to start minoxidil again you guys so i'm going to be back on it like i said i'm going to try the roll game brand and we'll see if that takes care of the problems that i had that i was talking about earlier you guys, one of my secret weapons that I kind of started using a little bit, but I kind of messed up 
it's called the derma roll right here you guys so the derma roll is good that's not where i messed up where i messed up was the size so the sizing is 0.25 millimeters on this one right here and you guys if you want to have any type of beard trying to get in there with the 0.25 millimeters you're not going to get anywhere right because you got a lot of hair they're blocking they're like very very tiny right the little needles that are supposed to go on your skin and then uh, what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to do derma roll and at the same time use minoxidil so my thing is if you are going to get a derma roller try to get like 0.5 or you might even go 0.75 but definitely don't go the 0.25 like i did if you guys are like if you guys are clean shaved then you can go with the 0.25 that is good but if you have a little bit of hair i'm telling you guys 0 0.5 0 or above no matter how many times i address this question i always get it so i'm going to talk a little bit about it right here is what age should I start using minoxidil? And I thank you guys for trusting me and like giving you guys advice and all that good stuff. But the ultimate choice to use minoxidil, whatever age you are, is all up to you. So I'm kind of just giving you guys my journey, my feedback, how it's working with me. But the ultimate choice to use minoxidil is on you guys. So if you guys want to use it, go ahead and use it. But you guys should know that there is some complications with it. Some people have like mild complications. Some people have uh, bigger complications. I didn't have nothing too crazy besides some hair loss like on my eyebrow area that was the main thing and I also had a little bit of hair loss on the top of my head a lot of people ask did I grow it back yes I did grow it back but you guys I'm naturally like thinning and thinning as the years go on so like my hair I don't have that much hair on the top of my head anymore like I have a brother that's a year older than me and he's not doing good either and he's never been on minoxidil so like me and him we just didn't get the good hair gene but back to the age thing I did want to say that like there's a lot of people that are hitting me up that are like 17 18 19 20 you guys when you're at that age you could still actually grow a beard uh, you know you go through puberty maybe a little bit younger like 14 15 whatever the age is but like you could still grow your hair naturally so when people hit me up that are that age I just tell them to go ahead and wait let nature do its thing and just give it a little pump your brakes a little bit and you guys you guys might actually grow your natural hair and you don't have to use minoxidil you know versus going natural versus using a chemical it's all up to you guys but like I'm saying if I had a son that was 20 years old, I'd be like, just wait, wait a little bit. So, but the ultimate decision is up to you guys. So another question that I get a lot is do I dye my hair? And yes, you guys, I do dye my hair. I have two videos. One is Control GX, which is right here, which I recommend. And then the other one is Just For Men Beard. And that one is cool, but like if I had to compare it to Control GX, I, I pick Control GX a lot more because it looks more natural. Like if you guys see right now, I do have some gray in my hair, but this is kind of like the natural way. And I just use this now probably like one every, fourth day one every fifth day that way i would like to keep it like natural so it doesn't look like i dye my hair so in case you guys are wondering this is what i use i'm gonna link it down in the description box just in case you guys are interested and also the video so you guys could check the video out you guys next is this beard pin right here you guys this is legit and i love using this right here because it covers up all the patch areas that i have and i'm going to show you guys exactly what it is but on one side, you do have like this brush. It kind of looks like, um, I forget what it's called. The girls use it for makeup, for like eyeliner, whatever it's called. But like you could brush it in on this side. This side does not have any paint or it doesn't have any like makeup, right? This is just for like when you touch it up with the with this side and then you could go, you could go on it with this other side. So just so you know, when I first bought it, I did think that this side was gonna have like a little bit of makeup on it, but it does not. So you guys, this other side is the one that has the actual makeup on it and it's at the very, very tip. All you have to do is rotate it just like so. Hopefully it's in focus, but once you rotate it, you can see like it, the makeup is coming out right there. So all you have to do is have just a little bit on there and you guys could see what it looks like before I put any of it on right here. And then all you have to do, you guys, is like slowly come on it just like so. You could already see some of it right there. I'm trying to work on my little beard line right there and then this patch area that's right there. So just with this couple of seconds doing it and then I'm doing it very light and putting very light pressure on it, nothing too crazy. If you put big pressure on it, you're gonna notice that's gonna kind of look fake. 
but as you guys could see just with that little bit of time it looks a lot better and what i was saying about the other side say you do put a lot of it on right all you do is kind of like mash it in just like that and put a little bit more pressure on it kind of knocking some of the makeup off of it right there so let's continue going and i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like when i'm completely done with it All right, you guys, so that was a, just a quick job right there and you guys could see that it looks a lot fuller and like what, le definitely less than a minute, probably less than 30 seconds on this one side, depending how like patchy you are, depending on like how much time that you're gonna spend on it. So if we come around to my, the, my good side right here, you guys could see like I have right here those patches, right? So we're gonna work on that side real quick. Like I said, just nice and light. And within a couple seconds, you could already see, you could already see it filling in just like that, you guys. And it doesn't look fake. It's just regular makeup, you know, make it look nice, make it look fuller. And this is kind of like in between. You guys could, what you could do is put minoxidil on, make sure like it dries off. And I use the foam minoxidil because it dries off a lot faster than the liquid one does, right? So I use it and then maybe in like 10 minutes or so, I go in there and I just use this as a as a filler pretty much. So you're just filling it in right now. And I think it looks very natural. You guys let me know what you think. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this update video. I hope I answered you guys' questions a little more in depth now that I have like three and a half years with using minoxidil. Don't forget to give me that like. Of course, if you have any additional questions, comment them down below and I will see you guys in the next video.